Hello everyone. Welcome to Thirsty. Welcome to Thursday and welcome to a very exciting <sighs> Bins Haul. We got a Bins Haul. I'm so excited. A Bins Haul. This was a very, very, like, ah. Uh, like a relieving bin store. Yes. The this... last time we went, didn't really find much, as you saw. This time, we are surrounded by lovely things. Yes. Oh. This was a really good bins trip, and I mean, it helped that we were actually there for like a few hours. Oh, we were there for like an hour or two longer than we usually yeah. would. Yeah. If you follow us on Instagram, you saw that we went with our friend Nick, NCI Resale. And we filled a... his lovely new little Jeep. We had a good time, <laughs> and it was really, really, really not busy. No. So that's why we stayed so long. Just because there was... there's no people. No. So so that was really was exciting. Like when the shoe rotation happened, it's one person per bin, but there were even some open bins on the last yeah, shoe rotation. Yeah, I that like we saw. didn't need to bust my butt and get over to the shoe rotation. So that was super was nice, and it's hard to leave when a you're finding decent to good stuff, and b there's like no competition and no one there. I know. And they were rotating pretty quick. Like it was, it was, it was a good day. It was a good. It was a very, very good day. Good trip. Yes, also, we saw Susan. Susan. Sue. Hello, yes. she said, Sue. She said she watches us. So if you're watching or listening, hello, Sue. How hello, are you? Susan. Hello, Sue. How are you? <laughs> we are kind of gonna go in the same order as usual, where we do shoes and then bags and accessories yes. and miscellaneous and then clothing. I don't think there's too much miscellaneous this time. No. We do have a decent amount of shoes. We have some bags, including some really good bags. I got a conundrum so you'll that, I'm least, gonna that I'm gonna bring to y'all with the bags. You'll at least wanna mm -hmm. stay until then. Yes, you will. And we do have really good clothes, too. Yes, so we do. So you should probably stay till then as well. So let's jump into the shoes, since we have quite a bit of things. So I picked up another pair of Allen Edmonds. I've tried them once. Well, I've tried them twice. The first time, I didn't give them much time, and they didn't sell very well, and yawn number one is already happening. First item. It's okay. It's four o'clock on a Thursday. Which Tell is me. not a reason to be yawning. It's almost five o'clock. So, these are a really expensive loafer brand. Actually, the real real even takes them, but mm -hmm. they do sell pretty well on Posh, and I've heard they sell really well on eBay, but I usually just list them on Posh. I usually get 50 to 60 for them every single time I list them. And my favorite thing about them is that they have, like, the name of their style inside. Oh. So this is called the Walton. It's this, so nice. I'm not sure the size. Oh, they're 11 and a half. And size the, is always in the top of the yes. tongue. And they are, I think they only make men's. They may make women's, but you'll probably only find men's. You'll probably only find the men's dress shoes. Then, yeah. this is a new brand to me. These are so nice. And it may be a bolo. It's called Ivy Lee Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. Um, I do not, I'm not gonna be able to get an angle that you can see that. But it doesn't say it on the bottom, unfortunately, but that is I-V-Y-L-E-E. -E. Copenhagen and they make all kinds of shoes and they're very expensive these retail at $320 they're really cute Super nice, made in Portugal leather. And there says 41. I actually found a lot of size 41, which for some reason when I find size 11 shoes, they sell really they go. well. Yeah, so, you sold them this morning. Yeah. You sold a pair that you found earlier. Then, okay, this is weird. So these are Hunter and they're called mm -hmm. the Moustache. <laughs> this Moustache proves I'm great. They're called the Clash. Mustache. That's not the weird part, but they no. are called the Classic Moustache. <laughs> So that's an, that's I think a mustache, it, apparently. I think it looks like those Karl Lagerfeld t-shirts. You know, the where sunglasses. he has, like, the sunglasses? It that's looks like sunglasses or almost like a fake, like, penny loafer I'm <gasps> or something. Oh, no, penny loafer. But what's weird, so these are men's size, men's US 10, and they're made in Italy? I didn't know they did that. I'm like, why? I mean, like, I get it. Hunter's pretty expensive, but, like... Is Italian rubber any rubber better than the rubber slides. we got here? We got, like, Firestone and stuff. Yeah, rubber slides hmm. made in Italy. I don't know. Then I do have a lux, lux a lux three pair of That's shoes. I'm gonna three. wait till the last to show those. These Ryan helped me find the second pair. I these are a pair of free people, size 41, and these are like sliced leather boots. I've either had these before or I've had a different. Oh, I've had Lucky Brand of the same. I was gonna thing. say these look very familiar. They factory have some wear to them, but I mm -hmm. think there's some extra. They're not a little much. they're a little distressed. Not I can't much. figure out what this says in the bottom. Lavar son antagaina. I do not speak any of the language besides English. Impression. Um but yeah, they're free people. And they're size forty one. Like I said, lots of good size forty one. They're cute, cute and they're soft on the inside too. I actually found another pair of size forty one free people sandals, and those already sold, and I already shipped them. Sorry. Then I 
need to still lint roll these, but I Love found pair. this pair of Kate Spade velvet heels. They've got a little more wear than I'd like to them, but I could list them cheap. A uh, little pair of size, cha -cha heels. Size seven. If Debbie wore heels, I would just give these to her, but she does not. These are she also made. She does not do heels at these all. These are also made in Italy. I like this leather sole too. That's yeah. really nice. Oh, and they're velvet. I mean, you guys can't feel it. Black but. velvet. <laughs> These, <laughs> these are super nice and cute. These are some silver metallic mules and they are by Madewell. And these are like hardly worn. They've been a few times, obviously, mm -hmm. but like you can tell by the heel, not many times. No. They're size six and a half. And I do still really like selling Madewell shoes. Especially if you find them in the bins. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these were like $2. Like we say, the shoes and the bags and probably like the accessories and hats and stuff still do really well. They do. And the jeans can, I just don't pay up as Jeans, much. modern. Don't do old. Yes. Zen. We have a pair of Fry sneakers with like the zip front. I love these. They have some wear also to them, but they of course look like they've they come distressed too. So yeah. it just kind of goes with it. And these are a size, I believe seven and a half. Yep, seven and a half. And I like the color. And I know, I haven't seen this green before. They're really nice leather. These are cute. Then this is a luxury brand, but these are very old, but they are also Y2K. So I did pick them up and I'm gonna list them very cheap because of the wear to them. <laughs> But it's a brand called Sigerson Morrison, or hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, I've had a pair. What? I've never heard of that brand before. I found my whole life. I found three pair in the bins actually, and two I'm sending to the real real. Hmm. Super expensive. It says made in Italy, but like I said, these are old. I have had a pair of his boots before. These are a size seven two, but these are like the Y two K style that they're remaking right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to sell it. I can see them being because of know. this wear. I'll list them at like thirty five or thirty, yeah. which they retail at probably like two fifty. Then my look three pair look of shoes. Three shoes. These are a size thirty eight, made in Italy pair of Prada. There's a little logo yeah. here. They actually remade these loafers like a couple months ago. Oh, I want them so bad. But they're a little bit more chunky. They're a little bit thicker. But they the Prada, the Prada logo is like coming out. But I've seen so many Prada shoes that just seeing the A, I was like, those are Prada. <laughs> but it says on the. Well, I actually hadn't seen that till I got home. I love that these are a penny loafer. You gotta list them when you sell them. Send them to the person with a penny in them. Okay. Why? Because that means they're lucky. These are size 38, so seven and a half they're or cute. eight. They seem maybe like a seven and a half. Yeah, I'd say they seem a little I'm smaller literally size. just eyeing it and saying that, so that could be completely We'll have right. Debbie. Debbie has this weird power where she can just kind of guesstimate how shoes are going to fit. <laughs> and she's always right. So, okay, up next for me with shoes, I found some fun sandals and I'm very excited about them. So these are Kohan Signature... There we go. And I liked these. Kohan isn't my favorite brand to sell, but these really haven't been worn a ton. And I like that they're just this nice little brown leather, like really well-made pair of sandals. Like and like the in snake. the bins. I know. And I think the little snake skin's really cute. I think this is really comfortable. It seems really soft. And Kohans are obviously expensive. It's just they don't sell for... Yeah. Them. So like, you know, I'll throw them up for 40 bucks and we'll see what happens. Um, These are a size 7. And if anybody wants anything, send me an email, send me a DM on Instagram. Yes. By the time you see this, some of it may be listed so you can check our posh. But of course, yeah, you can DM us if you'd like to. I'm going to do everything Instagram. in my power to hopefully get this stuff listed as quick as I possibly can. Yes. Okay, so these are, I'm going to safely assume, a pair of Saludos that had the Saludo wore off. Usually Saludo says Saludos. Oh, does it? So I they might not I be. I don't think they are. Um, so they're just this cute pair of little Knock fun Saludo. tassel like mules. And just as high quality as I was Saludos. gonna say, well that's why I got them, is I was like, oh they're really nice. They'll still do well. Yeah, I think they're adorable. I love this little like pom-pom hmm. thing on them. Interesting. I know. But yeah, Saludos usually says Saludos I think right here. This like bar right here. And they are a size 9. Cute Which, though. thank God, they have a size on them. Okay, so this is another just little trendy spring shoe that I grabbed. They are Soul Society, which isn't anything too crazy. And they do have a little bit of wear on the toes. But I you almost can't... grabbed these. So that's I funny. think they're adorable. <laughs> but you won't be able to tell when you wear them. And they're just this fun little pair of, like, here we go. Like, ankle strap, little, like, heels. I think they're cute. I'll throw them up for, like, 25 bucks and we'll see what happens. They are a size six and a half. Okay, and then I got two pairs of boots. This pair is Steve Madden. I skipped these also. And they are a size nine. 
I like these. I think these do pretty good. These like strappy looking like biker leather shoes. And then- It's more I just don't want to store them. Yeah. That's kind of a pain in the butt though. And then my last pair of shoesies, which this is why I love the one person per bin moment. I was very thankful and very lucky to get the first shoe rotation and I found these and nobody could take them from me. It is a pair of Sorel brown leather and suede boots. These aren't the like really trendy ones that everybody wants, but they're still Sorels and they're in the bins. They are a size eight. They are newer though. I know. So this is like, this is the Sorels that I'm going to pick up. The newer ones that are still in some kind of store. I love those. Okay, so on to the bigs. The bigs. I don't have that many bags, but that's okay. I have. So my first one is, I don't know why this gives me a lady with the alligator purse vibes because there's nothing alligator it about this. It reminds me of Grandma Aggie. Oh, Hall that too. It's hot Grandma Aggie from Halloween Town. Yeah. She's pulling like lamps and stuff. Yeah, like very like grandma, but like still cute. Like fun grandma. But it's fossil, if you couldn't tell. And it actually has fossil hair and fossil hair. So everyone knows that you're sporting I like fossil. this like can or this like, it's not canvas. No, it's like velvet. It's like felt. Yeah. It's really soft. And it's really clean. It's quite clean on the inside as well with the fossil little keys all over. There are some Stuff comes with light the spots. I honestly have good luck with fossil and I mm -hmm. actually really like this one. I usually skip ones that aren't leather, but this is a mix. So I yeah. thought it would be safe. But like the raffia and like canvas ones. Mm. The raffia ones I do love. I think they're pretty, but like they don't sell. The canvas them. ones, not canvas so much. ones. Mm, some of those keeper totes sell for. Then I found this Matt and Nat. I don't know why I'm suddenly like having a moment finding Matt and Nat little like dome bowler bag, and it's in it super looks good shape. Like, what's that? What's that Louis Vuitton? There's the logo. It looks like the, the Alma. Alma. An Alma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got two pockets. I think there are like a few light spots on the inside, but like. With crazy. used bags, yeah, kind of like very crazy. Nothing crazy. With used bags, like, I don't know what you yeah. expect. Like, there's almost always. I know. Then, this is from the thumbnail, and knowing myself, I probably blurred it out. So, drum roll, please. I did, in fact, find a Gucci bag, and she is. Right it's here. so cute. I love so, this. So this is an authentic Gucci bag. It's got the like micro Gucci Sama print all over it. Gucci Sama. And the Gucci logo right there. It has the Gucci logos on the little metal the hardware. hardware spots. I love the zipper pull. Too. Yeah, the, the vintage, vintage Gucci, Gucci zipper pull. Zipper. And then it is missing a crossbody strap. But I mean, with a doctor bag, I think it's cuter to carry them like this anyways. Mm -hmm. It keeps its shape really well. Which is nice. But the asterisk on this beauty is that she is quite tattered and battered on the inside. Inside's a little funky. The pocket is basically shot. So I would just keep that zipped all the time. <laughs> just put your secrets in there. But don't open it. I am going to vacuum <laughs> out the inside. Because honestly, it's just kind of like a felt where it's like the little like leather layer is peeling off. Mm -hmm. So like... Once I vacuum it out, so clean up nice. It's still completely usable so on clean the inside. Up. So clean up nice. Just yeah. Think of it as one that has no pockets. It's just an open little compartment. But she do be real. Yeah. There's the code. Right Got the there. little plaque on yeah, the front. And there's the little plaque. She I mean, <laughs> any Gucci anywhere, Ben's or thrift store, I'm gonna go in my cart. So, yeah. I was still very pumped to find this. I would be too. Oh, I'd be over the moon. Yes. Okay, so let's start with this one. So this is a little mini Dooney and Burke ostrich leather, like... YTK. One of these kinds of moments. <laughs> um, I picked this up because, I don't know, I think it's nice. Like, it's really nice leather, and, like, it has a little bit of wear in the bottom, on the corners. But, I mean, it's doing work in the bins. Like, and it's not, like, nasty. Some people do really like ostrich leather. Yeah. Personally, I'm not, like, trying to poo-poo it. I'm just not a big you fan know, of ostrich leather. Everybody has different tastes. And that I is a-okay. I don't like ostrich leather or patent leather. And I love Safiano, and some people hate Safiano. So. Yeah. Okay, so my next bag, I'm actually so excited this turned out to be real. So, it is one of the a vintage Kate Spade bags. So this one, everybody thinks these are fake. Not always. So these, a lot of the time, came out of the 90s. This is like old Kate Spade. Like back when it was like, Kate Spade was the main designer, not whoever it is now. So they sew them on. Yeah, she got bought out by Coach. I'm obsessed with this. It's sushi print. It's so cute. It's like sushi, it's like, like tea. brunch or tea time. That's, oh, that's adorable. Oh. And it does not, unfortunately, have any interior markings because I don't think they did that back in the day. But I'm obsessed with this. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, okay. not all those, like, old canvas ones are fake. They are a no. lot of the time. 
No. But not always. Okay, so let's do this. So this is a vintage coach tote. This is made in USA, but not made in New York. And it is a beautiful brown leather. It's so soft. Like for as old as this thing is, it is still in such amazing condition. It does have a couple of little spots in the back, but I got a little leather conditioner. And then I just need to do something with the bottom and some of the corners. It'll be a good like going to work. Oh, right? it's so nice. I like the chunky artwork. I know. Okay, so this is a Marc Jacobs nylon backpack. I did have to wash this. She had some makeup in the front. Um, she has seen some better days, especially like up at the top. There's a little bit of fraying up here. But other than that, like, I'm kind of tempted to keep this. I love these backpacks. I used to have one and it is one of my biggest bag regrets. Getting rid of it. I Ryan miss regrets it. everything he gets rid of. <sighs> I do. Okay, so here's here's the issue. Here's the moment. This isn't. This could be either an insanely good find or a really disappointing find. Yes. Okay. So this is a beautiful black leather bag. She needs to be kind of reshaped a little bit. Thick, thick. Um, if you could feel leather. this thing, this thing probably weighs three pounds. Like feels. The leather's not playing. Feels like luxury. Leather's like, not playing. So I find it in the bin, and I was like, oh well, okay. So I found a lot of like really nice leather bags, and I'm like, oh well, you know, it's not just one of those like TJ Maxx leather bags. Like this. This is nicer. No, it's this like is nicer so than that. Nice. Um, the lining is comparable to I have a Givenchy mini Pandora. This is the exact same lining, if not better. Super thick, which thick cotton it's lining. It's a little weird. The hardware is like really sturdy, thick hardware. Stitching. The stitching's amazing. Perfect. Like the stitching on the handles, especially, is like perfect. So here's my issue. I reverse Google photo search it. That which that's amazing. Because. There are no markings. There's anymore. no markings. Nothing. Not a made in. Not a leather. Not There's a no brand. Not even. Not even zipper. Nothing. No. Just nothing at all. Um. So what pops up is Chloe. The exact same bag. What's it called the, again? Uh, the L -L -E? E -L -V -I -R -E. It's like Elvire. The Elvire yeah. bag. Um. And so. It's the exact identical. same thing, literally. Like, identical. Literally, I found the exact same bag on Fashion File. But here's the kicker, Chloe is here on the one on fashion file which was like that one was like new new like it still had the dust bag and all the original stuff with it so i was like okay that one's in primo condition and it had chloe made in italy stamped on this part of the leather as well as the made in every single chloe piece has that little brown Code. made in tag this does not have it but i am like <laughs> so when pretty we, convinced that this is a Chloe piece. I've had like, two Chloe bags from this era, and honestly, this one feels higher quality than either of the other ones I've had. Mine were proven authentic. I, I am I'm stunned by this. Torn. Because I'm really the thing torn. with Chloe is they imprint without any yes. color or anything. So this, this is where the plot thickens a little bit. So I did some Googling. I did some research. I found some really angry bag people, which that was a whole moment. <laughs> um, but apparently what can happen is if the leather is embossed. So think of like if you stamp it in there if it's in a hot climate a lot of the time it comes out because it the heat reverses it basically but usually you'd still see a trace so, so it's really that confusing. but also this bag is from like early to mid 2000s so like she's pretty old um and which leads us also to believe they wouldn't make one for one ultra fakes in like 2000 the early 2000s let um, alone a bag that this isn't one. a logo you know what i mean so if anyone has well and so i did a lot of research on this when i was waiting for these bin changes so apparently what can also happen with those chloe little like made in tags they fall out because hmm. they get it's not that big of a piece of leather that's stitched into the lining so if it gets bunked around a lot or if somebody messes with it or if it gets stuck on something and you yank it it comes out but of course, without proof, Ryan would never list I it. I am not going to be Chloe. a deviant and list it as Chloe because that is illegal and I would feel bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it out in Poshmark, and if anybody wants it, she's yours. <laughs> but if anyone has any info on like maybe please, why it wouldn't have them, please, if Lord, it could be help me. a that sample be and you know that Chloe used to do samples without any logos, I don't know. You guys always know so much info that we don't. Please help me. That thing, when we tell you that it's like, like it's the highest quality leather, it's like beautiful, beautiful. leather, okay. it is so soft. Okay, we're gonna, so we'll we're gonna, to the we are literally gonna power. We're gonna try to do five five and power through this. So first up, a pair of really cute. I did do these myself, but I found the actual Lees at the bins. I'm these are vintage Lees, and these I think are like thirteen and a half across the waist. Super oh, not my size. cute. Shoot, here's a really good find. Forgot about this. This is a bougie one. I found this. Prada, Prada logo polo 
And I'm it is a this. size small. I believe it's like a form fitting men's size small, but of course those, it like, could be worn by like women. One of those as like well. Italian fit polos. But oh my gosh, I. Oh, a little piece of dust. Excuse about me. passed out. Um, it's it has, really cute. It has all the like fabric tags and stuff to prove that it's Prada. <laughs> that actually has a also a electric fabric tag. It's very light wear along one side of the collar, which is totally fine. Then I found this total Y two K cropped is cute. Calvin Klein size I love medium. That it says it on the sleeve too. Size medium cropped polo. And yeah, both sleeves say Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. So that's why I grabbed that. Normally I would not get Calvin Klein, but that's I thought cute. that was cute. Then I found this Free People Movement hoodie. Free Little Peepler. Super adorable. And the back is like completely open. Oh, it's open. really soft. It is. It's a really interesting material. It almost material. seems like it could be warm too. And oh, it's a we size watched large. It. I was like, this smells really good. <laughs> It's a size large and it does have front pockets. Then I picked up these. These are men's size large Under Armour. Not something I always pick up, but I thought these were like really nice. These are nice because they're not like Under Armour, Under Armour. Like you could wear these to like work. Maybe. Like I would Depends really, on where you work. I would, well, yeah, obviously. These are the joggers, joggers with like the nice like zipper pockets and they have the Under Armour logo right there. I just thought they were super nice. They're really like thick they're cotton really too. Nice. They seem high quality. And then this is a vintage little like skirt length apron. It's an apron. How cute is this? Completely textured, like floral and a pocket floral throughout. And I, I love know. this. Is like really nice lavender. I don't know if it's showing up that well, but it's really so like cute. It. A little cottagecore moment. Okay, so first up for me, we found two Delvon surfer turf pieces. Delvon surfer turf. turf. Okay, so the first one is a vintage vintage dress because it literally says. Dion Von Surfer Turf Vintage. Um, this is a longer lined I wanna dress. Find, I, wanna I find love like, this pattern. I want to find one where they accidentally mistyped it and it literally says Dion Von Surfer Turf. The three quarter sleeves, and this is one of her trademark wrap dresses, but like it's a little difficult to show that on camera. I don't know if this, oh, this one is 100% silk. It's a size six and I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so cute, especially like for being as old as it is, it's in a very good condition. Okay, so the second one is a newer piece. This one is a, a four. I love this with the cowl neck on it. And the one little issue is the hem on the front, kind of in the middle has come out. But it's like, has it really come out? It's still sewn. It just needs to be like, you know, folded back over and like a couple of stitches put in. Hmm. But I love this print. I think this is so pretty. It's like a bunch of eyes. Yeah, this really fun, like I, I, really I, I, bold I, 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 graphic. I, I, so I, I, I will probably try to put like a couple I, of stitches in there and just say like, you could do this a little bit better than I can. Say, I, 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 I don't know how I, to I, do this. I, I don't know how to do this, I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I... Okay, so this <laughs> is a Zara basic piece and I did have to put a button on the back of this, but I think this is just too cute. It's like horse bits. Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. This is very Dion von Surf Turf. Very, right. I get that vibe because it's like silky. And I like this little, it's she like, invented silk. it's like Gucci and then Chanel and then Dion von Surf Turf. She covered all her bases. I'm interesting. Uh, this is a size small and I just think it's super cute. Okay, so my next piece is a, a We The Free Thermal because I find these literally every single time I go. Not a joke. Size small. This one is the black Ventura Thermal. <laughs> I have a challenge for you guys. Go back and find one haul where Brian hasn't found one of those. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, so this, I was actually kind of excited to find. It's vintage cachet, which I don't think they make anymore or went no. bankrupt or something, but look at how fun this is. It's like this really like loud Versace-esque print with a handkerchief hem with, on the bottom. With fish. This is a very Christina Aguilera, like 2003, showing up with those teeny little jeans that nobody Versace knew how she could fit Versace was just recently doing the like starfish fish Yeah, prints. and that is a size large, if anybody's wondering. Next up for me is a level 99, which is mm, anthro a lot of the time. This mm -hmm. is a size 29 These with some cute. stretch. And they are gray black bootcut jeans, which normally jeans. I'd be really upset about, but bootcuts have been selling quite well. A bootcut's having a moment. Yes. So I'm excited to find those. I honestly, at this point, would rather find bootcut over skinny, because skinny. It's oversaturated, and <laughs> half of America seem to be over it. So they're uncomfortable. I'm done with skinny jeans. I don't need to wear them. Then, this is a really exciting find. I love this. As I've told you guys, this is like literally one of my favorite brands to sell. It is Spiritual Gangster, and this is a size extra small. It's and really it's just cute, this though. like tie dye with a little heart hoodie. Mm -hmm. And it does have a few really, really light marks 
right there. You can almost not even see them. Because it's like on the, the it's like something bumped into her sleeve. Yeah, that's okay. But I think that's really cute. Then I have this. No, this kidding. is adorable. I think this is. So <laughs> I just picked cute. this up because I want to make like a fun Instagram. Post I think it's like a wine bottle sweater. Oh, oh, that's exactly what it is. Well, it has music on the yeah. outside. Yeah, I got one of these. I think it's time, for a doll. And I put it on the Christmas angel when I was a kid, and my dad about killed me. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. Then I found another level ninety nine, and these are size extra small. And really I think cute. these are really cute. They're like yoga pant material. I get a Tom Brown vibe from these. And they have blue, white, and red stripes on the side, and they're almost kind of a boot cut too. It's a very slight one, so. I I'd almost more I would say straight. Straight, yeah. But mm -hmm. if you really look, I think it's ever so slightly boot cut, which is not a Like a hair and some air boot cut. Then more jeans. Oh my gosh, that makes them look so uneven. Trust me, go. they're even. <laughs> more jeans that I made into shorts. These are Levi's, of course. And they say they're size 33, but I think I measured them and they're more like a 32, I believe. Another pair of shorts that I made into Levi's. Are you trying those on? I might have to try these on. Thank you. But yeah, I made these into shorts. These ones are like a size 34. And they're a little bit shorter. I can't wear those. I think they're super cute. Those aren't going to fit me. So next up for me is a brand that I typically don't like to sell a ton, but I will because this one is literally so cute. The brand is J-O-A, just one answer. And it's this really pretty little floral romper with the birds of paradise on it. Okay, oh, yeah, this thing cute. has like strings. Oh, it's hanging. J by J-O-A. This thing has strings hanging all over the place. There we go. And it has a little lace up detail in the front. And I thought this would be cute for spring and summer. It's got strings and things. Wings and things with wings and, and things with wings. It's a size medium. Okay, and then I have. She needs to get all this crud picked off of her. And a deep pilling moth anthropology size medium, big fun thick black cardigan. Mm. Very. Oh, it's really squishy. It's, like it's really soft. It's really nice. It's plush. I know. So this needs to be tended to a little bit, especially Sweet. with two dogs that have cream hair. Just don't let it touch the ground. No, the ground is lava. Literally. Um, I think this is cashmere, if I'm not mistaken. Literally, I found it when I in a pug with t in a pug in a house with two pugs. If you're in black, the ground is lava. Like literally, it's like adults playing that game. Oh, it's a wool blend. Never mind. But it's really nice though. It's really soft. So yeah, that'll get worked on. And then I found, I don't remember if I found this or if Nick found this and then threw it at me. It ended up in my basket. Hey, on. Um, so this is Kimchi Blue Urban Outfitters, size extra small. Kimchi Blue is one of my favorite Urban Outfitters brands to sell. because They make cute little things like this. This really fun, really pretty little dress. I love these. I feel like you do the best with like the free people Urban Outfitters stuff. I 100% do. I 100% do. Okay, and then. A battle. A I don't think this has a brand in it, but... It's probably vintage. Yeah, it's then, cute, though. Then I found these pair of Wild Fable size medium, which is, of course, just Target. But if you didn't know, about a year ago? Yeah, like no, last summer. No, it was summer. last summer. So about a year ago. It was quarantine these last had, summer. This pair had, like, a huge moment. And the really sad thing is I actually found the whole, like, sweatsuit. The set. But there oh was a God. hole in the hoodie. There was a moment where you could get $200 on eBay for that sweat set. I'm gonna get... Hopefully 25. You'll probably list them for 25 and 30. So I never get kids stuff unless it's to consign or I'll, ex it's cute. I'll explain when I show you. This is Crew Cuts size six and this is boys and it's actually glow in the dark. It's so cute though. And it's skeleton. Look at if you're a Phoebe Bridgers fan. I or if you just like Halloween or and skeletons. Halloween's fun. I <laughs> get kids stuff when it's Halloween related and often list it. And actually have sold it when I have in the past. Those Halloween moms, they are a devoted bunch. I okay. would be a you, Halloween you mom. You are the Halloween mom. For Mike, I am the Halloween the male, mom. You are the whale. The male. The whale. Male Halloween I am mom. the whale. Thanks. I'm sorry. So these are Nike size large. And they say 12, 14. So boys. Boys, large, women's, extra small, yeah, but they but have elastic. These them. are like a small or extra small women's. And these are like good old like 80s or 90s. Probably 90s. <laughs> Windbreaker oh, pants. Like windbreakers. I not, remember not we used like to have to wear these in like... when I was a kid and it was in the fall. They made us bring a pair of windbreakers and we all sounded like garbage bags. Yeah. <laughs> so these are like the classic, and they do have the logo, the classic like windbreaker. More shorts that I made out of jeans. These are Levi's again and they say size 29 and I think these ones did measure to be about a 29 and there's these not- These look a little bit more modern. Not too much stretch. They're cute but though. They're really cute, yeah. What? I tried to have like an array what, uh, of colors. What number are they? A 5'11". Good fit. And then this Ooh. is a pair of Nike pants. 
And these are size large and they're these men's. These are really fun. And they're actually from the collection, I don't know what it stands for, but it's like NSW, which is like a newer, kind of more expensive line. Mm -hmm. These are like super nice. These are fun, I like these. Camel joggers. And so I think that's well. I'm shocked the, we go to the, a bin where there's a lot of like those vintage kids where mm -hmm. they get things for like Depop or the flea market. Bebop. I have no idea. This looks like something they pick up. There's like no logo. <laughs> so Nick found a Supreme hat in the bins and the bin had just been gone through by one of those low Bebop kids. Which I think is so funny. That is funny. Next up for me, so I do get kids things, but I get kids things that are adorable. And look at how precious this little dress is. It's strawberries. And it's from Oshkosh. It says Oshkosh oh on it right Oshkosh. there. Oh my, the outlet in Oshkosh. <laughs> These are from the app. <gasps> I am like actually obsessed with this. Like this is the cutest little thing ever. It's adorable. If Melinda had a dog, I was gonna say I Melinda would send this to baby. her. And um, I have baby. literally no idea. Oh, okay, but like even the tag. That is, is adorable. So cute. Um, this is a size six, a little girl's six, and there's literally no signs of wear on it. It has all the original buttons in the back. I'm obsessed with this. I think that is adorable. I would have gotten that too. I get kid stuff if it's like that. Also. This is also something Nick threw at me because he knows that I love it. Brandy Melville. Because Ryan is a Plato's closet. I, oh, don't even remind me. Tie-dye tank top, sold this a million times. We'll probably sell it a million times in the future. One size, extra small. Okay, Nick gave me this too. I don't really know what I found for myself this time, which is funny. <laughs> Kimchi blue, size small, but I love this cool. little. That this elbow one. was close to the Oh, was it? <gasps> this top is fun. You always like, Sport mode. I love this. I think this will do good for the summer. And it's really fun. And it's really lightweight too. Mm -hmm. Really blousy. Okay, I have a few more things. So this is junk food. Buy junk food. And it is a pink <laughs> Floyd hoodie. I couldn't remember if it was Pink Floyd or the other band that started the P that's like all over everything. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll do one more. And then okay. So this is a new tag. Cup sheet. Cute little green swimsuit. I love this. And this is a size extra large. I just can't read. Next up for me, I got a University of Tennessee hat. And it is like official merch or whatever of Tennessee. And it has like no stains on the inside so that's awesome for a white hat a lot of people pick up hats all the time so it's like sure i guess so i picked up another hat this one i really like though this one's it's cute. jack daniels tennessee honey and i love that it has like the contrasting stitching throughout i like how it has the b on the once front. again like no spots on the inside no that's nice yeah i like that it is a really nice hat and this one's velcro the other oh, one is like one of those the like, metal pole then this is a new bolo to me and maybe to some of you i had never heard of it i've never heard of it before. but it just looked like an expensive tag so it's like a bando uh bikini top and it's called lenny niemeyer that is not focusing. That name sounds you can read vaguely it. familiar because I think I'm thinking of nematodes from SpongeBob. Wasn't that Dang one? Nematode. But I believe this is like a small. Then I did pick up another kid's item. I forgot. This is cute. I did not know. I recently learned that Soul Angeles makes men's, and now I learn that Soul Angeles makes kids. So it is Soul Angeles, which is like an anthro brand usually when it's women's. Mm -hmm. But it says mood. It's so cute. And it's, it's like multi-colored cheetah print. Cheetah print. I love and it this. was in a pile of like bougie kids clothes. A pile is in like three things. But still, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> it's really cute. Zin, I found a J. Crew, and I never get J. Crew anymore. But this, if you did not know, is a new J. Crew label, the cursive size medium. And I thought this was really cute. And if not, we'll give it to Janet and, yeah. and she'll wear it. It's a striped turtleneck. I bet Debbie would even almost wear this. Oh, this is would... this is the Debbie moment. Yeah, this and it's really completely is. metallic. And which... this is like the metallic material that's not itchy. No. Because they make some of that stuff and it's itchy. Then I only picked this up because it just gave me like vibes of something a lot more expensive, <laughs> but it's not. It's just who, what, where, which is Target. If it doesn't sell, I'll just consign it extra small. And it actually is a linen blend, which kind of surprised me because it's Target. Target. It looks like Agua Bendita. Yeah, it looks like my favorite brand ever, Agua Bendita. My favorite reselling brand ever. I think it's really cute. I know, I love this print too. And like I said, linen, I was like, really? For being just at For Target? Target? Okay, next up for me, wow, wouldn't you guess? John Galt, Brandy Melville. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Thought there was a stain, just kidding. Um, this t-shirt does really good. I've sold it a thousand times, except it irritates me when they don't match up on the front of the back. See that right there? Teenagers don't know that. Um, next up for me is a free people movement. This, this tag is hanging on here by hair and some air, woof. Uh, this is a size extra small. And it's this really pretty 
pink. Like salmon. Ooh, this makes me look tired. This makes me look tired. It does. Ooh, it makes my face look dark. Really nice salmon coral, like tie front. It looks like a boxing hoodie. Like you wear it to like the boxing Like ring. a baggy hoodie. Yeah. And it is um, cropped with a big old kangaroo pocket on the front. Then I found this other free people. Free people. Free little people. Oh, I love when things have wooden buttons. I know. I don't know why. It's just such a cute It's button. really pretty. This one does not have a made in or like a size tag on it. Um, Pick your poison. Whatever size you are, what this will fit. What is this thing? <laughs> it's a really big linen something. Box. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's meant to be like fun. Is there a size on fun. the? Oh, it might have. It's a size large. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a newer piece. Yeah. Okay, so this is the new one. They have the little mini size tag, and then they have all the fabric stuff. They still do usually have like the normal size tag. Yes. But... So, but that unfortunately was missing. So Jack found this for me, and I will be lifting it. It's really cute. Gone actually. with the wind, and I'm 99% positive this is one of the t-shirts I sell Urban Outfitters. I wouldn't be surprised. Cute size. Okay, I got a little pile left. Let's power on through and we're going over 40 minutes. So if you do make it to the end You know what to do. Y'all know what to do. So first up is this equestrian horse girl vintage belt. Horse girls. <laughs> so it's like all embossed like leather with some silver little horses. That's actually so cute. Are yeah, they metal no. horses or are they no, just painted No, it's just silver? painted. Well, they're just silver And horses. made in Mexico size 32. I love when a belt has a size. What's that Susan Boyle song? This belt. What? Boston. I don't listen to her. I love Susan Boyle. Then, Susan I'm just gonna know. try this or else <laughs> I will consign it. It is a cabbie size 6 and it's like this plaid moto jacket. I just thought it was cute. Okay, um, give this to me before you consign it. This is adorable. We'll try. I love I this. have no luck with cabbie, so... I just sold a full price cabbie dress this morning. We'll see. Then, I thought this was kind of cute. This, this is, is nice. an Athleta. It's an older piece, and... Is it a swim dress? I haven't tried Athleta in a long time. So I don't it's really know moment. what the current state of, like, Athleta resale is. With the moment. Yeah, I know Lulu's not doing too good, mm. but I don't know about Athleta. Okay. So we will try that out, and that's size small. This is a brand I don't pick up unless I find, like, an interesting piece, and this I thought was interesting enough. There's a Ralph Lauren size XL men's button-up. And it's striped all over. It's a dress shirt, but it has R L Y C. I, I don't know if that. that means Ralph Lauren, York City. Isn't That's that what where I take it isn't as. Is that where he's based? I don't or where know. he lives? I don't know. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. But I get them when there's just like that little touch of like something fun. So, oh. Yeah. Well, some fun. Then, I thought this was really cute. This is really cute. It's Bowden, and that is one of the new tags. Mm -hmm. Says medium. 100% linen, and it's that, like, soft, flowy linen. It's, it's got these really nice. fun little bobbles on the front, mm -hmm. and the... It's called Notch Neck. I don't know why. That reminds me of a Trivial Pursuit card one time that says, what do you call a baker with bad knees? He's knock knee. Knock knee? Knock knee. And why? I thought that was the... I have no idea. Wouldn't it be, like, not? No, knock? it was knock knee. And I thought I don't it was get the, the fun joke. I don't I don't think it's a joke. And you thought it was funny. I couldn't stop laughing at it. It was my phone but screen. But you didn't understand. No. It. it was my phone screen on my iPod when I was like thirteen. So when people would ask what it meant, you're just like I would just chuckle. <laughs> I would just laugh a little bit. Anyway. That's what insight A little bit of like. personal insight. <laughs> okay, next up is Maeve. I actually did find an anthro piece. And it's really cute. It is really cute. I'll show the back because you can see the print better. So it's this like Hawaiian print. Almost, I thought they were pineapples when you first which, got Which like this, honestly. Hawaiian print is in. So hopefully it's Hawaiian enough. This is a size six, flowy and light and good for spring. Then this has no brand, but it's brand new because it still has the buttons attached. This is so cute. It's really hard Do to show. To... There she is, look at her. Yeah, and then there's almost like another like she kissy, got a little baby. kissy mouth down here or Dude. something. But that one doesn't have eyes. I thought this was so cute. I'm obsessed with this. This is so cute. I could see like a bougie brand. This looks like something like Loewe would do. Yeah. It does have a few like, I think this is just makeup and it's actually really hard to see. But obviously I don't want to wash it because it has the buttons attached still. So when someone buys it, they can wash it and I'm sure it'll come out. Then we have an Angel of the North Anthro. It's an older piece, but I don't skip this stuff at the bins. No. And like, it's size too, small. I like this little kerchief. This little rug hanging around. Yeah. Those little tassels. Then I only sell Zara if it's A, at the bins, B, the newest tag, and I think that's it. C, if it's in decent condition. C, at least 
a little cute, and this I think is a little trendy. So I think sister's gonna DM me. Size this. medium Zara, and it's a thin turtleneck in like a blush color. That's so literally all there is to it. But this. turtlenecks are in. Yeah, so. and it's like that thinner sweater you can still wear like in the early summer. Yes, which is nice. Another anthro piece. This one I really really like. It's made by Anthropology. It says medium, so it is newer because it says by Anthro. This is cute. And oh, look at her. It's picnic print. There's blue picnic print. It's I saw the red picnic print jumpsuit this morning. It's gingham. This is really cute. And it has ruffles. I love and it's this. cute and it's boxy and it's yeah. oversized and it's fun and it's light and it's thin and it's springy. It's blue and it's white. And it's from Anthropology. <laughs> you sound like Gaffy. <laughs> This is Athleta size medium. I actually found some Athleta for once. And it's this like crossover. What is going on with that neck? It's like crossover. Oh! Crossover. It's just like a big knit dress. Two more things. Don't you worry your little head. Next up, Highline Anthropology, which is a little bit older, but I thought this was really cute. So there's Oh, Highline. I thought Highline was made well. Or made well. I was like... It's made well. <laughs> Correct. I think it's cute. Yeah, I love it. it. Has bike pieces all over it. If you know a biker, I don't know a size darn large. thing about bikes, except that I vaguely know. How Just to kidding. Ride now them. I have three more things. This is Ming Wang, and I told. Nick, that I had found a misook, and this is what I was talking about. <laughs> so I lied. Went, okay. <laughs> because to me, they're all the same thing. I'm going to try it, but I've never sold Ming Wang, and I don't think it sells well. It's cute, though. It's expensive. Two left. Sisterhood. Draper James. Cute. Sweatshirt, white. Thanks, Reese Witherspoon. Torrid. <laughs> Torrid, 2X. Black. Long line blazer. Tunic, blazer, boyfriend, blazer. You think that's how we should do hauls every now and again? Just really just robotic. say brand, size, three to five keywords, next. We literally just go through the listing. It's like title, description, category, size, price. But like, we're still showing Bam. the same things and all the same. I found a Cape Cod sweatshirt. And I wear it with my jean shorts and my Nike Air Force Ones. Brian's I have gonna a blister look like on the, the bottom schoolers. of my foot. He's gonna look like the high schoolers he teaches. And I look like one of the girls that runs one of those like aesthetic Instagrams. From like, here, I have a Vivian Westwood necklace and a gold logo monogram necklace, and I have all these rings on. They assimilated me, not the other way around. We'll leave you to ponder that. <laughs> think about a lot. Of, I left you a lot to think about. Bye. <laughs> no exit at all just see ya so thank you guys for watching if you made it this far and you've been watching long enough you know thank what to you. do i guess i'll let you know what we do on this channel if you're new here so if we pass 40 minutes or even get close and you actually watch to the end we have a secret number so please dial four if you made it this far yeah it's fun to see how many people actually watch it is it it's really like interesting seven minutes because there's like a lot of you and i'm like wow this many people sat through this long of just me rambling about nothing this Ooh. much like <laughs> bye <laughs> bye